Well, the Commonwealth Observer Group has also arrived to Nigeria, led by its chairperson, former president of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki. The mandate of the group is to observe and assess Nigeria's election uh, from activities before uh, the election itself and on election day as well as post-election. All focus and attention at the moment is on Nigeria's upcoming elections, both from within and outside the country. This is particularly important because Nigeria is the biggest democracy in Africa and a model to many countries. This is one of the reasons observer groups like the Commonwealth are here in Nigeria. And our mandate is to observe and assess the pre-election period, activities on polling day and the post-election period. And throughout we'll consider all factors relating to the credibility of the electoral process of democratic elections to which Nigeria has committed itself including the constitutional framework and national legislation, as well as Commonwealth and other international commitments. Ensuring a free, fair and credible election in Nigeria is not only the responsibility of political parties and candidates, but of all the electorates. These activities will form the reports that the international election observer teams will produce at the end of the mission. The group promises to observe thoroughly and make a comprehensive assessment. The report cannot be written in order to please the country where the elections or the government of the country where the elections have taken place. Nor would it be the, 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 the objective to displease the, the government. It's to tell the truth. A preliminary assessment report will be available from the group on the 27th of February, while a more comprehensive report will be released much later. The role international observer groups such as the Commonwealth plays cannot be overemphasized in strengthening democratic system, particularly in Nigeria, considering its position on the continent and across the world. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. Moya joins me live from Abuja. She monitored that press briefing by the Commonwealth Observer Group. Moya, talk to us about the uh, mode of operation of this group ahead of this election and the other things they talked about. Okay, so um, before part of the preparation for election is um, the INEC sending invitation letters to international organizations to come and observe. Um, so many other organizations have been around before now, and uh, we've also had uh, press statements, updates from them too. But for the Commonwealth, they also received invitation from INEC, accepted, and that is why they are here in the country, to monitor and ensure that Nigeria's election remain credible. And, um, you know, over the years, we know the role Nigeria plays, just like the report says, the role Nigeria plays on the continent is a very important one, and ensuring democracy is not truncated or does not have any hiccup in the country is very important to international organizations, and that's one of the reasons they are here, to observe uh, how the elections uh, will go. And then their mandate, as the, as, uh, as the chairperson said, is not limited to only the election day. It also includes activities uh, before the election, pre-election day. So what we do as individuals in this country is very important uh, in the process of campaigning for a preferred candidate or demonstrating how much we want to support our candidates because all these are the things that the observer mission, the observer groups are going to put in their report and the way we all as electorate conduct ourselves on the day of election, all, they, all this uh, come together to form the report that they will give uh, at the end of the at uh, the end of the of the election, uh, generally, uh, even to vote counting to every activity that is going to happen, which has started because uh, we already have pre-election. They start. They they are they are going to be uh, sending out their mission groups from the 23rd to all states across the country, so that they will give uh, reports. This is going to make up part of their report at the end of the election. Uh, the observer groups will go around the country, not only for Commonwealth, even for other international organizations that have observer groups in the country. They will all be uh, in all states, in all the over 170,000 polling units that we will have in the country. As in Nigeria is higher than all of the registered voters in West Africa put together. We're back with you when you have more updates for us. Moyo Thomas live in Abuja.